Hello everyone, my name is K. Chanchiretti, working as assistant professor in Tigra Krishna Art Engineering College. In this video, I will explain uh, how to use how to use bus sector bus selector in MATLAB symbolic. Um, I I will explain my videos in symbolic model. In symbolic model, I have many blocks is there, common limited block continuous dashboard. Now my uh, videos I will explain one by one how to use symbolic blocks. Like one by one. First I will explain this bus selector. How to use this bus selector for electrical engineers, electrical students. First I will say add to add block to model. First I will select here. Okay. Now now this video I will explain only this model. Next I will go to I will select scope. Next, I will take one DC motor. Fundamental blocks in Simscape. In Sim, Simscape, specialized technology, specialized technology have fundamental blocks. In fundamental blocks, I have electrical sources. I will take one DC voltage source. And in electrical missions, excitations, in many options is there. Electrical sources, branches, power electronics. I will, I will click here missions. I will take one DC mission. I will add to model this one. Now I will rotate this motor like this. Now I will give connections A to Change direction. We will take one DC voltage source. DC voltage source. I will connect to this volt DC voltage source to Now I will rotate this circuit. I will go to tab, tab to the right. Now I will give positive terminal to A, negative terminal to AA. At the same time, DC supply also I will give positive F and negative FF. I will give here 230, 220 volts supply. In field also, I will give to 220 volts. Now I will tell what is use of this bus selector. I will connect E to this one. I will double click this one. Okay. <clears throat> In this bus selector, I have total four signals. One is speed. First, I will remove these two signals. These two are speed. I will select speed. Next, I will select armature current and I will select field current. Next, our uh, fourth one, electrical torque. If you want to remove any current, just click here, remove. If you want to add any more current, just select here. If you want up and down this speed, I will click here down. If I want torque, go to second position. I will click here up. This fundamental block parameter bus selector used for the selecting all speed, armature current, field current, and electrical torque, all parameters will add and remove by using this bus selector. Why? Because in this motor output terminal is only one. Uh, we, by using bus selector, we will choose all four, param four parameters. Now I will go to Simscape uh, scope. I will select a number of axes. I will choose four. Now I will connect one by one. Field current, torque, speed, uh, next, armature current. Now I will take power guide. Okay. 
we'll add this one. We'll choose here this peak model. We'll change time here one. Now I will run this circuit. Circuit is simulating. Okay, simulation completed. Now I will show output by readings. Okay, here showing starting from 0 0.7. Now I will select here how to uh, start from 0 to readings. Select go to simscape and here history is there limit data points. Apply, remove this one, apply. Next year, click here. Now again run this circuit. Now I will show output values. Okay, this is the output. Motor, field current, electrical torque, speed. Next, armature current. When increasing speed, torque will decreasing. Next, field current and armature current also. When increasing, decreasing speed, armature current also decreasing. Okay, use this bus selector. Uh, take readings this uh, motors all uh, DC motor and other induction motor SRM motor like this. So thank you, thank you for watching this video. My upcoming video I will explain uh, uh, why how to use from block and go, go block. Okay.